I think uh, from architecture perspective, we have to look at all the stacks. So whenever you are building, whatever use cases you have, I think you have to start from layer zero. So for, right, starting from where you are hosting your LLMs from a compute perspective, whether you are choosing it to be on on premises, on cloud, or whether on your own system, that's something which you have to first figure out based on use cases. And accordingly, you have to ensure that you have a proper security around that particular cloud. So if you if it's a cloud service provider, of course, like the independent security validations and the software reports, the general compliance report should be sufficient for it. Additionally, there are certain customer side of responsibility, which we should be aware from uh, from our perspective that mostly covers around the data and the application side. The second layer wherein you are talking with the model or you are creating applications which are utilizing the model or you are creating your own model. That's something which is the most important part when it comes to the AI use cases. And here where you can take a lot of design and architect decisions right from the start. So not just after creating, but as we say in cyber, like shift, lift, shift left kind of a strategy. So you can start designing your whole architecture from a best practices perspective. And that will involve how you are securing the data, how you are storing the data for the training, where you are doing the training, whether it is happening in a secure environment or not, how you are using the LLM models in order to do the training of that particular data. And this will address a lot of critical things when we talk about the biases in the AI models, we talk about the behaviors of the AI models that it's a bit, uh, it's uh, something which will not be independent or it's not democratic democratize so all these kind of issues if you are focused on the data part right from the start from the design perspective i think that will take out all these kind of issues from the later stages apart from that one of the major issues you i i know you have been talking about the os top rate, right what uh, generally what kind of uh, normal application securities will not cover the llm security right so i think model poisoning which uh, elad also talked about would be one of the key factors which we have to take into consideration when we are architecting this. So how you are protecting your machine learning model. And that's where the other designs will come in, wherein the model is your own or whether you are using the third party model or it's a vendor model which you are using. So based on the kind of uh, model which you are using, you have to ensure that you have a proper design into that, into implemented in your overall architecture. So if you are using your own model, then of course, like uh, in ensuring that your model is prevented from any model poisoning, be it from the internal users or from the external prompt injections, which uh, we which are very much popular from a model perspective. And if you're using a third party vendor, then you need to be ensure that you do your due diligence from a security perspective that what security practices are implemented by the third party vendors which you are taking your services from. So it's not that if you are taking Hugging Face or Chat GPTs or these third party vendors and they are very much popular. So you cannot be just 100% reliant that they will be secure. I, I always suggest that we should be a bit more proactive when it comes to cybersecurity and we should do our own due diligence whenever we are procuring these third party services. So I think that would be that would lead to a better design when it comes to architecting your solutions.